There's an expression that we often hear today, big data. But do you know what it means? Well, I'll try to explain it by inviting you to make a, a consideration. You definitely use Google, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram. But have you ever asked yourself why sending an email, doing some research online, sending a message, or using social network to stay in touch with your friends is free? So how do the multimillionaire companies earn their money? Well, if you ask this question, most people will answer because they sell the ads. But this is partially correct. In fact, when sending an email or a WhatsApp message, you don't have any ads. Could it be that by not paying for these services, you are not their client, but become their product? That's exactly how it works. Every time you access the web and use any of the many services online, you are leaving traces of your tastes, preferences, ideas, behaviors, important information that is regularly acquired to make statistics, market research and surveys, and certainly to magically offer the ads of those products that you are interested in. Sometimes you have the feeling you're being spied on and that they know exactly what you like, don't you? Right. All this is due to the effect of the data you unconsciously provide every instant. Even at this moment, while you have your mobile in your pocket, you're offering information on your habits and the places that you visit because of geolocation. This data is like gold for the companies. They buy it at a high price to be able to do research and surveys on what people prefer to do here or buy. All of this is big data. The billions of data generated by all the users with their smartphones, PCs, smart TVs that are then classified and sold by whom acquires them. If you have any doubts on their power and their value, just think that Donald Trump won the elections thanks to big data. He already knew what people wanted from the new president. A good head start, right? And this is not the only example. I could give you a thousand from political campaigns to commercial strategies of every big company. They are also very useful. Just try and think that because of big data, the behavior of people with pathologies is being studied in order to understand, for example, uh, what type of lifestyle people that develop cardiovascular disorders or cancer have. This is useful to understand how to prevent and treat some illnesses. All in all, knowing what people are up to, what they think and want, is not only useful to advertise, the range of application is infinite. Amazon itself is fast in delivery because they already know what you will buy and have it stored near you, ready for the occasion. That's why you don't pay for services like Google or Facebook, or better. That's why you don't seem to pay for them with your money, but you are abundantly paying with your data. Today, this market is worth billions of dollars and will be worth more and more because you give them extra personal data. You Share is a spokesperson of DT Socialize, a company that has foreseen the potential of this market, but that wants to redistribute part of the value of the data generated from their users right to whom is generating it. For this purpose, they have concocted an system that has the mission of returning data to its legitimate owner differently from whom is constantly taking it today without recognizing your value. They don't make you pay for their services, true, but you have already richly repaid them with your data.